up, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I hope you're having a good day. Um, it's a lot going on, y'all. We got that win. Told y'all my boy was a dog. Told y'all he had a, a solid chin. Man, and I didn't even like the way he was fighting. That was not our game plan. But, you know, Floyd wanted to go in there. And once he felt one of them punches, he wanted to, to go bang. Um, but let me tell y'all this. I'm going to break this part down to y'all. We trained for a 10-round fight. We trained for a 10-round fight. That's what we signed the contract for, everything else. So when we was in the locker room right before it was time to come out, um, the state people came in, and they like, we made a mistake. Um, Y'all need to fight 12 rounds. So I don't know whether it was because that girl knocked that girl out or the car was moving too fast or something. So they said, y'all got to go 12 rounds. So they made us an issue the contract. Of course, I didn't want to go 12 because I knew Floyd only did 10, only trained for 10 rounds of spawn. And this is Vegas. Anybody know Vegas air? So, um, but Floyd wanted to give the fans a show. He said he wanted to go in there. The fans came. So we signed off for it. And he went in there and did his thing. And the last two rounds, I knew he was fatigued. I knew that would happen, but he's a warrior. And he got hit behind the head, went down, got up, and what? Still fought. And still won. It did a did a shutout. Still against a veteran. And Renee ain't no joke. Renee got power. Renee is a veteran. He's smart and he's a he's a Mexican fighter. They durable. So Floyd already showed what he could do. Now, um, Shakur is texting and messaging. And Shakur is not Renee. Shakur don't got a chin like that. Shakur don't got power. So yes, we want to fight Shakur. He's not Renee. And we will stop Shakur. And everybody who know me, they know I, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. My predictions come right, bro. So I'm telling you, we will stop Shakur. And we number two. So what's the, what's the excuse, Shakur? Why not fight, brother? So come on, who, who you got scheduled to fight right now? But if that's not it, if you don't want to fight, we understand. But don't be acting acting like you a dog and want to fight it. Because you claiming that the funny thing about y'all Floyd Mayweather ever dudes is y'all claiming it to be the best, but y'all didn't fight nobody. Y'all didn't grind. Y'all not giving no tough fights. But it's all cool. That's the way y'all do things. Like, who did Tank, who did Tank fight that he didn't even weight train or make them move up and wait? But I'm talking about the last kind of ish dog he fought was Pedraza. After that, people moved up in weight, or either he sucked them dry like Barrios and all of them. Who tank for fair and square dog? And when because last time he was in there with Pitbull Cruz, he didn't stop his ass. And and Pitbull, I ain't even gonna um diminish that man brand, but he's not an A-level fighter. And then Tank didn't even want to give him a rematch. So stop acting like Tank is a dog like that. All right? So y'all can sit there because he knocked out these light guys. We could be doing that same shit. But no, we taking on tough fights, tough veterans. So we could build the greatest box of all time. So all of them could talk whatever they want or about his performance. Just step in the ring with him then. It's a reason Shakur and Tank is running, y'all. Don't be, don't be... Don't be blinded by the smoke screens and the Twitter messages or the X messages. Tell them to step in that ring. They'll see them next year. I guarantee you he'll stop them. All right, anyway, y'all all have your own opinions, and I appreciate all y'all. We grinded hours straight from the gutter, for real, throwing our own boxing shows like really rocking. We didn't have an easy, easy route like these dudes. So anyway, I'm proud of my boy. And his performance. Thank y'all all for tuning in. It's amazing um, how life could be. Chase your dreams. They might come true. Peace.